back everyone and welcome to a new port I kind of uh, like this it's a London uh, port and the reason I want to show you this uh, re uh, video guys is for first time ever we're giving this site to uh, show us different kind of layout I'm talking about the different you can definitely see here exactly what I'm talking about uh, different kind of colors and different kind of layers so here for instance this is the tier fine Hawkins the British heavy cruiser I don't know how she heavy is 30 millimeters the whole turret 25 millimeter which is absolutely garbage and over here nice good looking 38 but this is part is 38 this is 51 and this is 64 so guys first time ever you see there is quite significant significant uh, uh, different kind of layouts it's also different kind of colors I do like this um, so you see guys she has at least three different kind of uh, armor this ship her range is absolutely garbage and I believe that her biggest downside it's actually the range and the uh, what armor is this for the turrets the term turrets can be knocked out easily even with a for crying out loud and she's pretty uh, big big and uh, you know biffy um, so let me know in a comment below guys I do believe it's fine that you definitely see here different kind of layout let's go for the tier 6 any change wow that it's a big uh, change man she is a big as a house holy macaroni guys and of course the 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 turret armor thickness is only 25 as well but she has a lot of superstruction guys and 60 millimeters all over the place you you see the tier 5 had a different kind of layer so she was actually immune versus HE for some parts but over here straight the whole this uh, section is 16 millimeters and this one it's 19 mini millimeter so I would like to say the tier 5 has better armor yeah And her citadel it's way b uh, above the water guys just look at this massive this is um, a food uh, pinata for any battleship just look at this oh my lord that it's not good guys that it's definitely not good her tier 6 is even w worse in armor than the tier 5 how ridiculous is that Alright, the tier 7, 16 millimeters, but it's a, they are huge. And the problem with all British, they have extremely bad uh, range. This is one of the worst range of any cruiser. Hmm. Probably the concealment, it's kind of uh, alright. Oh man, 11.2. Yeah, the concealment is definitely uh, good. However, now this citadel is actually way smaller. So she's in some way better protect than the tier 5 and tier 6 because her size it's massive but her citadel is somewhere hide behind everything here so you see in normal cases the citadel should be from this part from the rear turret to the front turret but no it's uh, it isn't so over here you have to aim her exactly that in the middle so yeah I'm not saying you're not gonna uh, eat a lot of damage but you're not gonna citadel this cruiser easily because her size it's actually amazingly small versus any other cruisers 
Uh, let's talk about uh, guns. Now you have 203 millimeters guns and you have eight of them. Pretty good uh, firepower, not as good as a, a Miyoko. Um, and the uh, speed is all right ish. The downside, a little bit, it's with upgraded 14.8 for tier 7. It's rough, guys. It's rough. Now from tier 7, I do believe you have also some AA, not crazy. I do believe your biggest, okay, long range are kind of a crap. Your most power, it's actually at the mid range and that is from 0 0.1 to 2.5. Interesting, that is the tier 7. Let's go to touch tree and let's go for the tier 8. Twenty five millimeters. Thirty millimeters very interesting. Over here you have thirty millimeters. Twenty five. And different kind of layouts. Here's twenty five, but here it's oh man, this thing is kind of a uh, weird. Oh man, this is one heck of a weird citadel. I I have no idea, guys. That's that must be the yeah. Let's take this one away. Let me know in a comment below. This is one heck of a weird. Is this okay? Seventy six and there one hundred fifty two. Hmm. Now I'm really confused about this cruiser, 203 millimeters. You also only have six of them. Three by nine, sorry, three by three, because you have three, three in each uh, turret. Tier eight, 14.3, 15.7. It must be a damn joke. I cannot come up with any other cruiser with 15.7. This is. Uh, Fiji Belfast range guys 15.7 it's absolutely hilarious AA let's talk about her AA long range now definitely uh, improve versus tier 7 because their tier 7 was a joke mid range it's pretty damn good actually and short range yeah you have definitely uh, improved AA versus the the tier 7s one Hmm, could be per actually a pretty strong AA uh, cruiser, guys, without saying too much. Her concealment, it's pretty darn good. Not the best, but definitely good, guys. Her torpedo, 4 in each side, 10 kilometers, very workable, because that is the, uh, the concealment, when, if you put the concealment module and the captain's... Um, perk you will have ha her under 10 but guys 14.15.7 uh, uh, it's uh, on the lower side and um, the shell speed are also on the lower side but the the percent put your enemy on fire it's massive it's 17 percent and the he also uh, massive so you're almost as a mini conquer for crying out loud but I don't know, her, her, her armor layout is weird, very weird. Let me know in a comment below. I like the concealment, I like her AA power. Um, however, I am very confused about her armor. Okay, this, this is one half heck of a space armor. And then you have, oh man, so many different kind of layout. Ooh, I never see such a thing guys this must be new for this game okay let's let let's put her 25 millimeters and 30 millimeters and of course the the turret has way better armor thickness problem is she's a huge ship yeah it's a heavy cruiser I understand that but guys once again I am so confused about this um, is it some kind of a space arm? I do believe so, guys. 
in between he, over here it's the her city right but he's a huge uh, space yeah so probably even though she has a big citadel she's like in the middle of well protected in some way i have no idea maybe it will be problem for some other heavy cruisers to pen penetrate her citadel that's what i'm trying to say because first here's the deal guys this is very important if you have another uh, cruiser and you want to citadel this tier 9 uh, you have to go through this 177 millimeters and then past this armor thickness of 37 millimeter which is some kind of a space armor and then you have uh, citadel armor from 177 sure i do believe the um, the battleship have no problem to penetrate her but for the cruisers and some other smaller caliber guys i just say good luck never gonna happen you will do damage to her with uh, with uh, with the uh, he because her armor layout is not crazy this is not a soviet uh, uh, 50 millimeters or anything uh, but even though you receive a lot of damage remember she, she has super heal yeah her biggest downside you will receive full he damage for any destroyer this is 25 and 30 is nothing and uh, yeah uh, now you have different kind of guns and and uh, I do believe they will have one of the highest percent to put your enemy on fire and uh, we don't know exactly what kind of reload they do have and uh, the, um, the concealment I do believe uh, her concealment it's absolutely fantastic it's probably one of the best tier 9 cruiser heavy cruiser with the best concealment guys that is what I think But let me know guys in a comment below what you think about very weird armor. I do believe that uh, the cruiser will have very hard to penetrate her citadel specific for Drake. I believe so guys. So thanks guys for tuning in. Let me know in the comment below would you grind the new uh, British or I know it's early access but y y you get the point. You like to have one of those or are you a cruiser main or most likely you treat them like food because the thing is even though um, she has great armor for its tier I do believe there will be no problem for 16 inch guns or above to penetrate her armor and space armor and all that so have a good one guys take care and bye